Welcome to another episode of Comic Book Business News with me, your host, Josh Goldstein. I am here to, um, amidst the COVID-19 outbreak, um, uh, so it was a solemn time for Comic Book Business News as New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut are soon to be quarantined by President Trump. And the comic book business is in a state of emergency. Um, already Diamond is having problems. And um, some of the major companies are taking emergency precautions like DC, who basically uh, announced they will have, they will look to means to keep their books coming out all during the crisis. DC is smart for doing that. Also, um, IDW is having problems. IDW is still uh, possibly, you know, I, I predict during the crisis you will see one of the major companies file for bankruptcy or possibly maybe even after the crisis a merger between two of the lesser companies. Um, also, um, most stores are closing and doing and shipping books to their customers. Most business in the industry is being done online. Maybe there will be some major changes out of uh, to the industry out of this crisis. I don't know. Smokes. Okay, and on to the comic books. The first comic book is a book called Batman, you, uh, Batman the, the Batman Who Laughs. This is based on an old uh, mo movie from, this is Joker as Batman. This is based on an old movie from the 20s, The Man Who Laughed, which The Man Who Laughed was where Bob Kane got the idea for the Joker from. So this is Joker as Batman. Let me look inside the book. Nice art. It's basically a Batman fantasy. Got Hawkman. Ooh. Snickers ad. Nice stuff. Supergirl and Crypto. It's a me, me TV ad. Superman stuff. Supergirl stuff. The next comic book is Marvel's Outlawed, which is a teen, a teen book, teen superhero book. Who do you got in this group? Ms. Marvel, Nova, and Miles Morales. We got uh, 
Ms. Marvel walking around town, little Pakistani girl, cutie. Yeah, walking around. Other young Marvel heroes. Ghost Rider Kid or whatever this guy is. Oh no. This comic is kind of boring. I don't really like it. This kind of this comic's um oh I have to give it a, yeah whatever. It, it's an it's a 2 out of 5. The Batman comic. Okay. Spider Woman's um, the this Spider Woman was really good. I actually, I I actually kind of uh, I actually kind of liked it. This is, this is Jessica Drew in her new costume. This comic book, I didn't think was as good as older Spider-Woman series or graphic novels. I kind of think it's a four out of a uh, four out of five, but I need to see some improvement. This is Iron Age 2020, which is kind of cool because this is 2020. So it's the future in the future. Possibly is this our dark future of Iron Man? Has there, is this a dark age where machines have become men, have become Iron Man? This is sort of as some Marvel comics sometimes be. Sometimes Marvel needs to do, ha, actually have good artists again. So I like the premise. I don't like the story. This is a. I, I only give this a two out of five. Again, like all the comic books this week, this is again disappoints me. Young Justice. What are these, the gayest heroes of all time? Aqualad, Aqualad. So it's Aquaman's son, Aqualad. And Sideways, what, what is he, like, too gay? And Arrowette. So... She's my teen lesbian daughter of Green Arrow. And spoiler is actually cool. Spoiler is actually cool. Too bad she's in this group. And so this is from Wonder Comics, which is like a DC kid imprint. Brian Michael Bendis even tried to help him out. Poor guy. Impulse is in it. 
they did have impulse. Bart Allen. They dug up Bart Allen from the grave for to help him out. Arrowhead. I don't know, dude. Bart Allen. I don't know about that, man. This is kind of like they're digging up an old DC hero called Warlord to help them out. And some new guys and uh, nice head. I uh, might want that statue. So, again, only, uh, only, uh, only, uh, three out of five, but nice try. So, again, COVID-19, very serious. And I'll see you again on Comic Book Business News.